Good afternoon, folks, and welcome to the live stream. Uh, today, it's very dark. I'm going to see if I can turn up my brightness. And I can't. Right, looks like we're going to have to turn on the big boy lights, but they don't look very nice. Give me a minute. I'll bring you guys with me. Right, uh, so in the minute, I'm making a load of mallets. They're not as big as this. This is my mega mallet. Behind me on the table, there's about 12 mallets that are the, the fruits of today's labor. Um, with a few others that were kind of getting along after buying a big new kind of drill press as well to help with production. Where the hell? Okay, there we go. Found my plug. Now we're gonna plug in our big lights. Okay. Come on. Okay, normally they should just turn right on. Not today though. There we go, that's why they weren't plugged in or switched on even. Right, so now we have the problem that they're facing the wrong way. Or at least we'll be backlit, will we? Will that make things better? If I put you guys up here. No, that looks even worse then. What if I do this? I get this and I point at the roof. That way it makes the roof shiny. Does that work? Because the roof is kind of like fairly reflective. I'll do the same over here. Mm, that just, no, that didn't really work either. Oh God, what are we going to do, lads? I'll, um... Trip hazard for ourselves. Alrighty then. That's probably too bright now. We can turn down these feathers, I think. There we go. Three minutes into the live stream and we're ready to go. Now, for anyone asking me to clean the dust, dust off my uh, screen, I can't. There's a crack and some sawdust is after blowing in under it. Um, so yeah, we're just gonna have to put up with a bit of a uh, bit of low resolution until I get that sorted out. We have a super chat in from uh, Daft Magic, uh, who says, keep up the good work, thank you very much. And from Fired Edster. Um, better see more ash handles, man. I cut 60 ash handles yesterday. Well, I cut about 36 of them. Uh, and I was feeding them through the bandsaw, which I know is as a power tool. Uh, but if I were to do them all by hand, I'd never have them done before Christmas. And uh, shoved my thumb right into the blade of that bandsaw. So she's all she's bandaged up fairly well at the minute. But uh, that was a sore one yesterday that kind of put a bit of a halt in production. But uh, what I'm gonna do on live stream here tonight, is um, take these. These are 12 mallets, um, kind of the, the, the furthest developed of their peers. And uh, I'm just going to plane them nice and smooth. Thank you, Stephen, for the super chat. You don't need all the fingers yesterday, I know. And I've only just taken down uh, my TikTok bio, used to be finger count 10 out of 10. But then um, my mother was paranoid, I was tempting fate, so she made me take it down. Uh, Jason Bowdoin, apologies for the pronunciation. Is there a PO box? PO box uh, email me and I'll send you my address. Thank you very much. I don't think we have PO boxes here in Ireland, but someone can correct me on that. I 
I like to use this product called uh, GT7. Just give it a quick mist and that lubes up the sole of the plane fairly good. Makes it travel over your workpiece a lot easier. This is bad planing posture, but uh, if I go over this way, I'm too close to the heater and I'm also off camera. Um, hello to uh, Stephen's girlfriend, Bethan. Thanks for the super chat. Uh, could I, I could use the blog camera for the live stream, but it, it probably is more hassle than it's worth. Ah, well, if it isn't Glenn, how are you keeping these days? Um, man, I am busier than I have ever been before in the minute, Glenn. I think I might have been biting off more than I could chew with um, making a load of mallets. But uh, good feedback. We sold out with them fairly well. So that's my first time ever selling a product. But it's also meant that I've had to put video making on a halt for a while, which I don't really like doing. Uh, Mr. Jimmy The Reach. Uh, those are mighty fine elbow patches. Yeah, I can thank my, my dear mother, who, is, who might be watching, for that, that work. She wanted to throw it out, but I insisted that it was worth saving. So then she used her talent at the sewing machine to bring it back from the dead. Um, PB, how are you keeping? Um, are you up to date on tetanus shots? I've actually never had a tetanus shot, I don't think. But uh, I put some antibacterial stuff on it. And then today, it wasn't as bad, but I fucking banged my little pinky there when I was messing around with the drill. Realize I'm not cut out for the power tools at all, at all. They seem to want to cut bits out of me though. So what I'm doing here at the minute with the hand plane, let me see if you can get a better angle there, is um, you have to make markings on them just so you know where to make your cut. Like, um, I don't know, can you see all these very faint lines here? Probably not with a dusty camera. But if we run over them a few times with the plane, uh, that kind of helps remove them a bit. I'm just gonna turn off this all together. I don't need it. I can go cold. Um, Michael, Miguel, Rivera, Thank you very much. Uh, it's 20 minutes to 11 here in Ireland, so. I'd say this will be another kind of half hour live stream and then off to bed. I think we had a very long live stream last time. I think it was nearly 40 minutes. jumper now we really worked up a heat right. <clears throat> none of you perverts get to see my hairline not today at least right uh, Jason I just became a level 3 member I think that's our third level 3 membership thank you very much Jason um, we're nearing the 100 mark of members at the minute. I think we've, you're number 90, uh, provided no one's after leaving me in the last while. Uh, so thank you very much, Jason. I remember we started this membership thing about 12 months ago at this stage. And on the first live stream, we got 11 members and it's, it's crept up ever since. So thank you. Uh, fired Edster. Am I going to make a video about this? I was making a video about this, but um, I ended production yesterday when I cut my thumb that set me back by half a day, so I'm under a lot of stress at the minute just to get them done. Um, the stonemason here um, gave me a hand after he finished his shift. I'll obviously pay him once uh, they're all done. But uh, yeah, if there's anyone else living near Ballincolleg in Cork and would like to earn 15 euro an hour over the next two days, I would very much appreciate your help. One year anniversary member. Well, thank you very much, Crystal. 
Every now and then I'll go through the list. Why are you tearing out on me? Ooh, that's what you get for not going with the grain, lads. Tear out. Um, how do you become a member? I'm not actually sure. I think there's a button somewhere. Some of you guys, actually, I think it's next to like the subscribe button. It's like join. Um, it's not available in some countries, so no hassle. Uh, but um, there are no benefits, so it's just a way of supporting the channel. Hopefully I'll have a shop up where there'll be regular mallets and stools and chairs and whatever available to buy. But at the moment, it's just um, it's just a membership. I have no Patreon or anything. If I were within the hours, a few hours drive, I'd be there within a heartbeat. But thank you very much for being that guy. Uh, Jason says, if you hit, oh, thanks for spreading the word, Jason. <laughs> so yeah, doing the tops and bottoms is only one part of the story. I'm also gonna have to do the sides of each of them here. So I'll do that as well while I'm here now. Smooth like marble. Beautiful bit of olive ash. I wonder which part of America this will end up in. Almost like 90% of the people um, who bought mallets were from the States. Okay, we have a few chats in there. I think we have a new membership. Uh, Sam Turtle. Turtle. Welcome to the membership. We're 9 off 100. Uh, Blaze. Uh, what advice would I give to a woodwork beginner? Pick a project. Uh, if you have no woodworking tool, just pick a project. Oh, I want to make a stool. I want to make a mallet. Buy the tools accordingly. Don't be scared to spend money. Tools will generally hold their value if you buy good ones. And you can always sell them on again if you don't need them. So yeah, don't get caught up. Just pick a project and you'll probably mess it up, but go at it again and again and again until you get it right. That's the best advice I can give you. That's what I did anyway. Uh, Lena Tour says, I live in America and my name is also Owen. I miss Ireland because no one here can say my name correctly. Good on you. Uh, we need more successful Owens out there. I don't know now about successful, but out there for sure. Um, uh, yeah, I suppose uh, Owen is a, is, is there any other Owens out there? I should, there should be a few that come to mind. Famous Owens in the chat. Can anyone think of any? I own the passenger seat in your, uh, you do Glenn. Glenn has been a, a day oneer and he's here on pretty much every live stream. Glenn has been uh, promoted to regular Instagram messenger membership. So yeah, if anyone wants to follow me on Instagram and they're a member, um, <laughs> I'll follow you back if you're a member. How about that? Uh, oh, Zibby. Okay, so we have a member here who found out about us through um, Facebook. I suppose that's, that's good. Them imposters are still there, by the way. Owen Wilson, that's true. He's probably the most famous Owen out there. That I can Not I can think of, but um, someone in the comment section can. Up in the recording gear, we have a load of recording gear. We have the studio kind of half built at the minute. You would have been seeing it in the video that I was going to make about these mallets had I not injured myself. Kathy says, I do woodworking as my job. I make cabinets and other things for my job. Nice to see a fellow carpenter. Well, that's brilliant. I'm not a qualified cabinet maker or anything, but I have huge admiration for the trade. 
Um, I think if I were to go off and trade, I'd become a stonemason though, just because I'm you know, fascinated by stone at the moment. Um, but I don't know, I, yeah, I think I'll stick to the wood. It's the devil I know, and it's, you know, I've kind of committed to it now. Um, Craftsman Day Dallas says, Keep up the good work. I love watching your content. It reminds me of woodworking with your father. Hope I have a happy holiday. Well, thank you very much. I'm off to Strasbourg in France this weekend, so kicking it off to a good start. Visiting the European Parliament. Um, someone offered me a free trip, so I'm either getting myself into a kidnapping situation or I'm going to have a great time. Um, it's lots of mallets, but I can get it done. I'll uh, use that as motivation for tomorrow. Just non-stop. Today I was just pounding. I'm going to have to make sure my joints are okay. I'm going to give myself a carpal tunnel or whatever. I was using this mallet and this chisel just... But, uh, I don't say it didn't do me any favours. As well as drinking copious amounts of caffeinated beverages. If I don't post yet, yeah, you'll know where I disappeared to. I'm somewhere in Strasbourg in France. Either drinking wine and eating baguettes or dead in the back of a van. One or the other. Oh, hey Chloe, how are you keeping? Count my kidneys before I go. So how do I even know I still have the two of them? Ah, they wouldn't want my kidneys anyway. Surely Irish kidneys are, are worth far less than the average European kidney. Surely they do they go to some Arabian country where the religions don't 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 recommend drinking. Those those livers be worth a fortune. Kidneys, even. Ah, uh, well, I'm sort out of mallets at the minute. I've, well, I've sort of mallets that I haven't even made yet, so I'm just kind of catching up with the backlog. But um, I'm hoping now next year that I'll be able to produce a good few more of these things and have them up for sale permanently on a shop. Um, Kathy again says, you made Majora's mask out of wood once as a personal project. Turns out absolutely amazing. It's very interesting. What's a Majora's mask? Should I know that? Will you send me a photo on email? I'd love to see it. Or on Instagram, I can see messages there too. All right, guys, we're 20 minutes in and we've done two of them. This rate will do six an hour. And this is only one tiny little step. No. You slow yourself down so much when you go live streaming. But I haven't made any content to go live in a while, so. Have to do something, you know. I, um, I used to go live on TikTok loads and loads. Um, but, um, I, I, then I started growing this YouTube channel and I prefer going live on YouTube now. Um, you, you tend to get better engagement, people following, like coming back to the next streams and stuff like that. But um, I went live there after my last YouTube live stream and they have a new feature called Battles. Um, but um, I didn't know what was going on. I like, um, I joined a battle with some random man and uh, we're both on the screen and he's like, um, come on guys, we can get him. And there's a bar on the top of the screen. It's whoever can get the most gifts in like three minutes. Um, so it was, it was kind of a bit overwhelming for like 10 minutes. And then I was like, right, well, we'll get rid of that anyway. And then we kept streaming for another 30 minutes. Um, and then when I ended the live stream, a thing came up and it was like, you've earned 61 euro from that live stream. So... All, like it was mad. I'd never made such money on TikTok in all my life. So I guess that's where they're um, trying to compete with Twitch and YouTube and stuff. 
Um, I, I guess it's a good idea, but I didn't like the whole concept of just give, 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 give. Um, so I haven't done it since. But um, if I could come up with a way to do it like without seeming so desperate, then, uh, then yeah, it might be something to look into. <laughs> oh, I was talking to the stonemason today when he was giving me a hand. He was telling me that you can go live on YouTube and Twitch at the same time. Which kind of made me worried that maybe somebody's mirroring this platform, this live stream, onto Facebook or Twitch. So if you're watching this on any platform that isn't YouTube, please report the re-uploader. Hey Owen, says NATO. First time catching your live. Love from New Zealand. Cool. What time is it over in New Zealand? What time is it for all the Americans listening to listening on the East Coast and the West Coast? Oh yes, this is a cambered iron, just so I don't leave a, a tracks on either side. Okay, it's 5 p.m. where and like is that bleh. Okay, it's 5.30 p.m. in Boston, it's early, okay. So it's, your guys are just getting home from school or work or whatever you're doing. God, I've always thought, what, what would be the best time to go live for an American audience, I wonder? I suppose it'd be like two or three in the morning for, for me. What, another kind of three or four hours time? Okay, and it's only one in just gone noon in Alaska, that's crazy. What's my favorite color? Oh, I like a bit of red, if you couldn't tell by the state of my shirts and my car. And yeah, I like red. Apparently I'm a bit colorblind, so I can't even see the full spectrum of red, orange, yellow light or whatever, but I still like them. Okay, so it's fairly late in Florida as well. How old am I? I am 21, 22, 22, 22. Jeez. And I've been 22 for a few months. Clearly I've got the brain of a retiree though. We're getting that. <laughs> Any plans for a large scale restoration? Yes, I'm going to be restoring a pole or a, a thread lathe before long. Really looking forward to that one. I've already have it bought and ready to go. All I need to do now is find the hardest part of all, the time to do it. Three minutes. It's a pretty new record. What's my thoughts on Japanese hand tools? I actually bought a Japanese uh, pull saw today. I bought them before. They're brilliant. Um, I'm going to be doing a dovetail box fairly soon, so uh, I, I'm going to compare the difference between using the traditional old Western style um, dovetail saw and uh, the cuts on the push stroke and easy to sharpen and so on and so forth versus the Zetsaz pull saw you can get. One of them anyway, I know they sell a lot of them. Um, but yeah, it's also a lot easier to buy these Japanese um, pull saws. They're a good bit cheaper as well than finding a vintage um, dovetail saw. I know I need to wipe the lens, but I it's, there's a crack in my phone screen and dust has gotten in under it, so I'm either going to repair, replace the screen, but the phone is also kind of on its last legs, even though it's only a year old, but I suppose I use it like a workhorse. Um, so I'm, I'm going to contemplate now, uh, in the new year, am I going to upgrade my phone or my screen? A phone upgrade would probably cost me maybe 800 euro, and the phone might last me another year. Or a screen replacement would be 120 and then I'd probably have the phone for maybe a few more months. I'm a bit clumsy by nature. I'm, I 
I guess. I don't know, is there any anything for it? Just can't keep my phone in my hand. Have ever made a wooden hand plane? No, I bought the hardware to make a wooden hand plane from Veritas. But I just, again, haven't found the time. I have abundances of everything but time at the minute. Uh, the Sprint says, been enjoying your YouTube shorts. Thank you very much, appreciate that. I'm glad. I haven't made one now in a, in a while, but uh, November was a record-breaking month for my channel, so thanks to all who tuned in. I had one video I made about pencils and uh, how to never lose them again by depositing copious amounts of them in the places you always check once you've lost them. And that video did like, I remember I went in to buy the pencils and the pencils came to like 30 euros. I was like, this better do well or I am in the hole for a stupid video. Uh, and then I got to the counter and the lad recognized me and he was like, for free. And I was like, class. So then I went away, made my video. It got like 4 million views on TikTok, which was phenomenal. But then on YouTube, it just... And the YouTube video was actually a few seconds shorter because I had to fit it into one minute. And I think it's sitting somewhere around 12 million views now, which it's... I think it's pushing being one of my most viewed videos of all time. Um, so yeah, if I had paid the 36 euro for the pencils, they would have paid for themselves. Glenn, uh, you must go. You're driving right now. Uh, Let's get off. Have a great night. Thank you very much, Glenn. Always a pleasure to have you here. How often do I get splinters? Not very often. I got one today, which would be very uncommon for me. Uh, an ash splinter, which I'm just going to leave in, you know. It's going to fester in my bloodstream and, and become, you know, more ash than I was when I woke up this morning. Um, but, uh, yeah. Especially with a wood like ash, it'd be unusual. That it's not a very splintery wood. The same with kind of pine, if you're ever working with pine. It's a right splintery little devil. Lindsay, you checked out the Mary Wallopers and they're super fun. Like old school American folk, it's probably time to listen to Irish folk too. Brilliant. Can't wait to go see that concert now in, I think the 20th of December in Galway City. You were about to go to sleep and then I went live. Sorry, not sorry. There's few things better than sleep, but my live streams is most definitely one of them. Now, there'll be nothing I do here that you can't watch in the morning. Go on, get your shut eye, and when you wake up tomorrow morning, you'll be able to watch me on two times speed. How fun is that? Remember, I used to be friends with the lad. I'm still friends with him. But uh, back when college went online, and you had to watch all your lectures after they were recorded, he, um, he used to download his lectures because watching them on two times speed wasn't quick enough for him on the online version of it. Uh, he had to put it into like a special player and watch it back at four times speed. And this fella graduated top of his class. What a man. Uh, drunk little sheep, how are you? Uh, just finished a massive exam. There's no better way to de-stress than watching one of the lives. Well, I hope your exam went well. Um, 
thanks for tuning in. Uh, we'll be wrapping up shortly, but uh, just for you, we'll stay live another 10 minutes. Uh, Alex Anderson, have ever restored a number 26 transitional plane? You know, I've, uh, there's a fellow with a collection of planes I'm trying to buy. I offered him 700 quid for it and he said he'd get back to me. Um, not for the plane, by the way, for his full collection of, I think there was about 10 odd planes in there. Um, I, uh, so yeah, hopefully I get one of them. And uh, he bought these planes, but by the looks of them, he never actually used them. So they kind of just went a bit dusty and, you know, they need a bit of work before they can be put to use by me. But um, hopefully now, he'll get back to me at some point. I offered him a few months ago. You know, this fella, it could be a while deciding. <laughs> I also placed an offer on a Stanley number one, and the man also said he'd get back to me. I kind of, he said if he was ever selling it, I'd be the first person to know. Um, but his specific Stanley number one is fairly valuable. It'd be more valuable than the already valuable regular number one, because it was a, an even rarer type. But um, I offered him money for it, and he said he'd get back to me. He said it's not about the money for him. He'd rather see it go to my caring hands than some collector overseas. But um, I did offer him a, a kind of a, a low amount of money compared to what he'd probably get if he put it up on eBay. But uh, you know, it's, it's, it's up to him now whether or not he says yes or no. He says yes, I will drive the country and spend way too much money on a hand plane. Do, 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 do. Uh, Frank Lewis, cheers, Owen. Cheers to you. Singing in the rain. I was thinking as well lately, lads. Um, I'd love to get out to America for even just two weeks um, over the next year, but I'd... I'd I wouldn't like to go just travel about the place. I'd love, if the kind of craft fairs and stuff I go to in Ireland, I'd love to do a few of them in the States. I think it'd be great crack going to a few different towns, but I don't know if does any of that kind of stuff happen over there. I'm sure it does. So if anyone has any insights as to where would be a good place to go to embrace in some traditional timber crafts, because you have a lot of that over there. I'm telling you, if I went to America to sell all my tools, I would get a fraction of the money I would get over here, just because we have so many of them. This hand plane was exported from America only in the last year or so. And I bet you your man paid less than $100 for it. Maybe he paid more than that, but I ended up paying like 240 euros for it, so it was worth his while. Uh, Anto FC, thank you very much. Playing in the cold, my glorious feeling, my back is in pain. Uh, Matthew Anderson says, uh, you have good woodworking conventions in the US. Um, would you know any more details about them that you could send on to me? That'd be great if you could. Um, uh, C H uh, Chubot 08 says, uh, thanks for the content. You're the reason my uh, expanded, you're the reason I expanded my tool collection. That's wonderful to know. I'm having an influence. Come over to Boston. Yeah, Boston would be great. You know, a lot of Irish descents there. Uh, Drunk Little Sheep says, Old Stubbard Village in Massachusetts is similar. Okay. To do a, a hand to a road trip of America, wouldn't that be interesting? What a glorious feeling, I'm happy again. Which way are you going, Green? You're confusing me now. I'm too tired to be doing this. You're going that way, are you? Or are you going that way? Well, I think you're going that way. Yeah. Mm. It's 
So I'm delighted that people have decided to buy these mallets and I get to finish them with a hand plane instead of sanding them. Sanding kind of just smoothens out by, you know, tearing the fibres of the wood at a finer interval or finer degree every time. Whereas a hand plane just slices along it. Just giving you a much finer finish than sandpaper ever could. To be honest, at, the, at high enough grits you would notice the difference, but it's just a different way of getting a finish. A superior way of getting the finish, I think. He shut my heater. I tried to turn it off, but I failed. I accidentally cranked it down to its lowest volume. Even though that's probably the wrong words for it. It's, it's down to heat number one at the minute. And it's, uh, it's perfect. It's keeping my ass warm while uh, I'm laying away here. I think it's getting into the negatives tonight now. Uh, the band Fontaine's DC is popular in Ireland. If so, how much? What's the... Okay, there's a few questions for me. Um, the, Fon the band Fontaine's DC is very popular in Ireland. I think they're a Dublin band. I'm not a massive fan of theirs, but um, I know a lot of my friends are. Um, what's the rarest wood in Ireland? And what wood would I like to use the most? Pretty happy with ash, you know, I think. It's abundantly available at the minute and will be for a long time for me. I know it's all dying, but that just means there's a load of it being cut at the minute, so. Ash, love me some ash. Uh, and at the minute, it's my favorite piece. It's my favorite type of wood, and I'm very lucky to get to work with a lot of it. Um, and what is the hardest wood to find in Ireland? To be honest, I've, I've never struggled to find anything. Maybe boxwood for handles is kind of hard to come by. But I know Mark, who I do a lot of work with, has loads of stuff. I could get off him if I ever wanted it. But, um, yeah. I'm not fussy if, like, I don't think... Unless you're doing work like maybe using you for a, a fiddle or, I don't know, um, oak for timber framing or Douglas for... You don't really have to be too specific. Like, you can make a box out of almost any wood you want. How's my day been? My day has been busy. My day has been busy. But not as busy as tomorrow's will be, so I, I think I'm going to go to bed. What time are we at? 37 minutes. We'll stay live for a few more minutes, because drunk little sheep only got here. And we say we go live for them after their exam, so we'll... Uh, We'll uh, move on here. What are we at now? Five mallets smoothened in 40 minutes. Incredible pace. Good lord, lads, that's slow. That is slow. We'll do one more and then we call it quits. How about that? Do I sharpen tenon saws? I do. Uh, Frank Lewis, uh, the southern east US has the most antique woodworking stuff all over. There's a Noah's Ark replica in Kentucky. Pretty cool, religion aside. Yeah, I suppose that would be cool to see a, a replica. Mm -hmm. I think I remember watching a few YouTube videos about that. And then on the opening day, they had a bit of, bit of trouble filling the car park. What would be a vet, a bet, uh, what would be a good thing for a first project? Make a mallet. They're dead easy. I, 
like a, a, a hand plane kind of takes a while to figure out how to use properly, but you can always just use sandpaper. It might take a bit longer and the finish mightn't be as good, but you know, still learning how to woodwork. Even my plain iron is getting blunt, telling me to go to bed. Right, so that's uh, that's done for the night, I think. Heater is going off. Is it? It's very hard to twist it off with a big bandaged up finger. But we managed. Do I usually listen to music when I do these things? I used to all the time, but now that um, now that I film everything, it's just too much effort to stop the music and start it again uh, before and after I film a segment, so it's just not worth the while. What happened to my hand? I uh, I gave my bandsaw blade a little little kiss with my finger yesterday. It'll be fine, but it is pretty sore at the minute. Big fan from Dublin, started woodworking a couple of years ago. Cut, you're a carpenter. Not gonna say the next part, uh, but I appreciate that. Um, what am I gonna do for the next project? I need to do another axe handle, send it to some drummer in America. And then, I can't remember the name of his band, but they were big enough anyway. Treasures Union in Iowa every year. Lots of vintage tractors. Sounds fascinating. Be careful, your father lost three of his fingers on the table saw. So yeah, I know, I really do need to be a bit more careful. That was very stupid of me. The same day I was uh, wearing my safety goggles and I got hit in the eye. So I was, you know, lucky I didn't go blind that day. And it was only a sore finger. See ya, Miss Gorgon, or Mr. Am I not bloody frozen? I've been doing a lot of movement there, so we're keeping ourselves warm. Alright, I think I'm going to call it a night, lads. Thanks for watching, and uh, we'll talk to you all next time. Goodbye and good luck.